Well, howdy there, internet people, it's Belle again. So today, we're going to talk about measles and public health. Okay, so Trump had his first cabinet meeting, and during the meeting, the subject of measles came up. The response from the Health and Human Services Secretary left many unimpressed, and some said he was downplaying the situation. But that's not what we're going to talk about today. We're going to provide some information about measles, how to protect yourself, and the general situation. Okay, so currently in the United States, and primarily in Texas, there's a measles outbreak. There's at least 133 confirmed cases, 124 in Texas, and 9 in New Mexico. The majority of those cases are aged 5 to 17. Estimates say there are more unknown cases out there, but the scope hasn't been really determined yet. The current working theory is that the outbreak originated in an under-vaccinated community in Gaines County, Texas, and spread from there. There have been at least 18 hospitalizations with one death. This isn't something to take lightly. So, what is measles and how can you protect yourself? Let me start by saying, this is not chickenpox. Measles is a highly contagious respiratory illness that is vaccine preventable. The CDC says that if you're not protected and you're exposed, you have about a 90% chance of infection. Measles spreads through the air. The CDC says the virus can remain in the air for up to two hours after the infected person has left. Symptoms appear about seven to 14 days after exposure. Some common symptoms include the rash, high fever, cough, runny nose, and watery eyes. It can have very serious complications, like encephalitis. That's inflammation in the brain and pneumonia. How do you protect yourself? Measles is a vaccine-preventable disease, the MMR vaccine. It protects against measles, mumps, and rubella. Buy one, get two free. One dose is about 93% effective, and two doses makes it about 97% effective at preventing measles. According to the CDC, even if you are part of that group that gets measles after vaccination, quote, disease symptoms are generally milder in vaccinated people. They are also less likely to spread the disease to other people. Talk to your healthcare provider, because there are some people who shouldn't get it or who should wait to get it. The CDC has a list, and I'll put that link down below. There was also a report of a person who tested positive who traveled to San Antonio, New Braunfels, and San Marcos. The person traveled to two major universities and the San Antonio Riverwalk. If you've ever been there, you know how busy that is. If you were in those areas between February 14th to February 16th, check the link down below for detailed times and locations. If they match up with your activity, healthcare officials say you should monitor you for symptoms. And remember, you're really talking about up to two hours after the times listed. And we're going to end on a question. And the answer should provide a little food for thought. Hey, Belle, WTF, I live in Texas, and I saw a plywood and spray paint sign for measles testing. Is there a reason we seem completely unprepared for this? Measles was declared eliminated in the United States in 2000 due to high rates of vaccination. Not a lot of hospitals or health departments are going to keep signage around for a quarter of a century with no real use. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.